hello beautiful people welcome once again to the nice story 101 channel i am bernice from nicerie.com and niceryonline.etsy.com niceryonline.etsy.com yes i'm on etsy you welcome once again old subscribers new ones and incoming ones i'm so honored to have you all here to support this channel i can't be grateful enough thank you so much and i love you all so much okay so today um we are going to do another um tutorial and if you are new here hi hey hello how are you doing can you consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell button so that whenever something comes up i put on a new video go live you receive the notification and join the fun you know okay all right so today i had a request in the comments of my very first video that i did on the channel from lindy w 88e talabi requesting for me to make a cap with no fold on the edge no cutting fold she doesn't want cutting to touch her forehead so i'm going to make a scrap cap with a satin coming all the way to the edge no cutting brim to ensure maximum hairline protection maximum hair protection you know so in the previous caps this is what i did we always folded and there was cotton here she doesn't like it no no so we are going to make a new cap with uh, which the um the satin comes all the way so no cotton will be touching your forehead of or your for uh, sorry your hairline to ensure you get maximum hairline protection so that is what you are doing today and at the end of your video if you like it you give me some thumbs up you know it goes a long way to help me and push me through the algorithms you know so i will really appreciate that so today we are doing an upgrade of the europe style scrap cap there is a free pattern available so stick around let's hit the table and get the job done baby okay so all we need for our tutorial today is a strip of fabric if you have a quarter strip of fabric that that is perfect now the width of this is seven inches and the length is 44 inches so that is all you need and your 17 inches elastic your toggle this kind of any other type that works well for you and you have your tweezers that you are going to use to reach inside to get the elastic out our ruler just in case we need it our scissors and most importantly our pattern um i'm going to do a few modifications on the pattern since we are not doing the one inch fold and i want this cap to be very cute so let's stick around and see how it all go so this is the okay the page one of our pattern the pattern is available in the facebook group so you can um join the group and download it i will check if i can put the one on my shopify the link in the comments and in the description so that if you are not in the facebook group you can get access to it as well it's free okay so if you are new here and you want some more free patterns then subscribe so that as it keeps coming you get them and share with your friends hit the notification bell button so where what whenever something comes up then you receive it as well so um this is the second page you fold the left side of the second page and you match it with the first one then you tip it down then you print the same thing you, you can either fold or cut it along this line on the left side this is the third sheet as well so you have these three sheets all together you tip them down then you cut around it if you want small you cut on the green line medium the black line excuse me large is the purple line so that is it i've already okay this is the top of the hat so small medium large so i've already um done it and 
okay i've put it together this is our fold line this the weight of the original um pattern is eight inches but i'm going to cut off one inch from it so you see i've marked the one inch line so that we can be left with only seven inches to make our work more easier so this is the ruler i use to cut paper uh roll rotary cutter sorry this is the rotary cutter i used to cut paper so let me cut off the one inch now i'm left with seven inches this is about this is about 17 inches should be okay um, there is always room for improvement so you can cut it according to your preference so let me see so you take your fabric always remember there is a fold here wherever there is a fold make sure the fabric is folded at that point so because of this i'll leave ss so. okay Cut it. Then now for the purpose of this cap, I would rather use the small um the small uh, cap top. So let me do it like this. I want the cup to be cute so I'll rather use the small size so let's cut you can always cut sizes that suits you okay so now we have the fabric i'm going to cut the satin okay so now i i've cut the satin line in just the same sizes and what i'll do is i'll use pins to hold these are wrong size together so i'll use pin to hold it together so that it was in it wouldn't move around okay so i have this so what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to put the right sides together this is the right side and i'm going to stitch from here all the way to the other end okay so if you're a beginner you can decide to pin it down so that it will be a smooth run for you but i'm used to this so let's get it on Okay, so from here you open it like this then you make sure the cotton fabric has moved to the side of the of the satin uh, you can iron it to make sure it is laying flat so the cotton fabric should be on the side of the satin you are going to top stitch so look at the back the cotton fabric is on the side of the satin you put it down you are going to stitch on the side of the satin close as close as possible to the stitch line it can be one eight 
it's fine so you stitch on the on the satin making sure the cutting is under the part you are so okay so you see the stitch there's another stitch on the cutting so that is how it's supposed to be now to prevent fraying on this side and on the side of the um satin you can just go to the serger and serge both sides So we will have no issue with fraying. We can go on to the next step. So what you are going to do is to put the two ends together. Like this. So, and please it's right size together right size together okay so we are going to stitch from the top of the cotton fabric to the end of the satin fabric but what the catch is when we get to where the satin begins that is the the first line you meet up here the first line so when you get there you stop and double stitch you leave one inch gap that is where we are going to pull the elastic out from. Then you can continue stitching to the end. Now, in order for the next step to be easy, I'll suggest that you you do um a, a half inch, you leave a half inch allowance as you sew. Okay, so we have the hole. We left that one in, so the hole is in there. What you are going to do now is you spread it out like this so that the stitch line can be stitching. stitching uh, the allowance can be uh, hanging out. You open it, open the allowance. You press it down. You can use your the ruler or your iron to press make sure the both are separated okay so once it's separate you are going to you are going to stitch both sides down so you can do it from the other side if that is okay with you so i'm going to sew on the left side sorry on the left side and on the right side okay all the way to the end of the satin okay so as you can see if it's clear you see we have two one stitch line on this side and another stitch line on this side and the center line is there so i did that to put both sides down now we are getting to putting the elastic in what you can do from here you go to the iron or you use your ruler to press the edge down to make sure it is smooth and it's laying down okay so now it's all pressed down well this is the front center front and this is the center back that is the hole we created for the elastic 
so now this is what you are going to do you are going to measure seven inches from the front towards the back so i have seven inches here so you mark it on the top and at the back what you are going to do is you are going to put the one part of the elastic now is this is the front going to the back the tip of the elastic will be here and the rest will go towards the back so in the same direction you open the fabric the cutting and make sure you put it on the fold line in there at where you marked seven inches make sure it's right there you put it in the on uh, just by the fold line you hold it down with your pin and look at how the how it's going you fold it just like this make sure it's following the same um the same order and put it on the other side in between okay so here is the other seven inches so you just make sure your elastic is not twisted it goes that way then you turn it down like this you open and put that one to by the fold line you put it down and use a pin to hold it down so we have the two ends now when you open it it should run smooth in there we are going to stitch stitch it down Okay, so you do a couple of stitches on this side and the other side to make sure. Okay, so this is the back side. You make sure the elastic is in there. It should be on the stitch line like this. So you can put it down there, fold it over. At the middle back hold it down with a pin to make sure it wouldn't be in your way so now we are going to create a channel for it to lay in there peacefully so now we are rest assured is it's just the, the elastic is right here so we will start from one of the places where we stick it down to the other side it will go straight to it you can do it all around if you like so starting from one end you are starting from here stitching all the way to the other end when we stitch the elastic down so this will go towards the center back bypass it to the other side so that is it make sure your elastic is to the edge so that you wouldn't sew on it okay so we've created a channel for the elastic we can now remove our pin we reach in there to bring our elastic out and you see it's moving freely 
so now we can add the toggle to it we tie it to prevent the toggle from falling off okay so now this is when we are going to add the top to the body of the cap now because these two are separated sometimes it's difficult to work with it we've take this uh, we've pinned this one together but what i do to make it easy for me is to set all around this and hold the satin and this one together and serge it so that pinning it will be easy okay i've said it so i cannot remove these pins so what i do is I fold this one center front and center back and I I just put pins there to know you can create small notches there oh okay so you can either, either create a small notch you can just create a small notch or you put a pin there okay now because of the back stitch line we have the center back then you create a notch at the front to know the center front okay now you turn it inside out for the wrong side to be out so you match one side of the notch to the notch you created at the front then you pin it together then one the back to the back you pin it together and from the front you are going to pin it flat down towards the back The recesses here same on the other side from the front flat to the back okay so now this is the top this is the body excess you are going to make pleats to fill this part this is more than it so you just eyeball and create pleats on this side and this side you pleat all together Okay, so it's done. I've created the pleats around the back. So what I'm going to do is you can just go to the sewing machine and you stitch all around it and you are done. But what I do is I take it back to the serger, then I stitch all around it and it's finished. If you are stitching on the sewing machine, in order not to leave too big of allowance, you just stitch closer to the serge line so that it will be neat and you would, there wouldn't be too much material hanging around. So let me do it on the sewing machine. So close to the serge line.
okay so you see the stitch line is close to the serge line now if you don't want it to be separating like this then you can still take it to the serger and serge and you can cut all the SS away that is what I mostly do okay so it's cleaner now our cap is done So as usual, I'll take it to, uh, I'll bring my personal assistant, Damika, to try it on her and let's see how it goes. Finally, this is the outcome of our new updated Europe style satin line cup. So as you can see, um, the satin comes all the way to protect our hairline and our hair in general so thank you so much for sticking around please if you like what we did today kindly give me some thumbs up share with your friends what do you think about the cup kindly comment down below let me know your thoughts all suggestions are welcome if you have any questions i'll be ready to answer them join us in the facebook whatever you make either from my channel from a different channel something that you are making new things new development share with us there join the group it's fun over there we our sisters are sharing a whole lot of things please if you're a man you're also welcome everybody is welcome um to our facebook group i'll link it in the description below comment down in the comment let me know you were here i would really love that so much and thank you so much for sticking around lots of love coming from here to you have a wonderful day good evening good night wherever you are thank you